I'm not gonna challenge him. I'm gonna rotate up here. We're gonna just do a wrap. I'm not gonna bother trying to hit that guy. I wanna see how many kills I can get. That guy's in this room over here. AFK, hell yeah. Oh my god! Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And in this video, we're going to be creating the fastest killing G36C class setup after the buff. Now, the G36C got an increase to its aim down sight speed, as well as an increase to its damage range, making this one of the best light machine guns slash assault rifles to use in modern warfare. Now, I've already dropped a nuke with this class setup, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I'm actually running on this weapon that makes it so good. Now, all that being said, the like goal on the video is gonna be 350 likes. If you guys are enjoying the content or wanna see any more best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any more gameplay breakdowns where I break down and analyze my gameplay or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve, make sure you guys absolutely smash the like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. Now let's get right into creating the best G36C class setup. Now for this weapon, you're gonna wanna go ahead and now select a muzzle attachment on this gun. Now the Holger 26, AKA the G36C, you're gonna want to make the LMG into an assault rifle and to do so we're going to be going ahead and selecting the Molex suppressor this is going to add sound suppression as well as damage range a very good attachment because it's going to complement this LMG slash assault rifles range buff making it a little bit better now we're also going to be selecting the barrel now the barrel we're going to be running is going to be the XRK ultralight barrel this barrel is going to add aim down sight speed this is very important to run this on the Holger 26 because it actually transforms this weapon into the G36C and this is exactly what we want and what makes this weapon a lot more mobile agile and honestly in my opinion a lot better so we're going to go ahead and select this weapon attachment now we're also be going to the under barrel this is where things are going to get pretty interesting now i think the ranger foregrip is mandatory on the g36c because it has a lot of vertical recoil and obviously to counter that the ranger foregrip is going to have recoil control as well as aiming stability so it's going to be very important we're going to be running this attachment it's going to make it a lot easier to use over at longer ranges and because it's an lmg long range is going to be its kind of strong suit but since we have the ar barrel on this you can also take enemies out at close and medium ranges so the Ranger foregrip is going to fit this weapon perfectly. Now for the ammunition, this is also a mandatory attachment. We're going to be selecting the 30 round magazine, which does a lot for this weapon. This is going to seal the deal and make this the G36C, and that's what we want. It's going to add aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, as well as reload quickness. 30 rounds is enough with this weapon. Honestly, I do wish they had a 45 round magazine option, but hey, 30 rounds is plenty and we're going to be going ahead and selecting this on our class setup, in my opinion, a solid attachment for the G36C. And then finally, we're going to be selecting an optic because this weapon's iron sights are horrible. Unfortunately, they're not that good. I wish they were the G36C's iron sights for Modern Warfare 3 or maybe even COD 4, but hey, we're going to go ahead and have to select an optic. And I like to go ahead and put on the GI Mini Reflex because in my opinion, this is the cleanest optic and the cleanest sight picture in the entire game and the best optic, like I said, for this weapon. Now, if you guys like the iron sights on this weapon, hey, you might like the G36 or technically the Holger 26's iron sights. You can go ahead and you guys can select the fully loaded perk on this class setup because you will run out of ammo very frequently. But the nice thing about this gun is it does carry the 5.56 rounds. So every time you run over an M4, a Kilo 141, or maybe even a Growl 5.56, you're picking up ammo. And obviously those guns are pretty common. So ammo realistically should not be a problem. But if you guys are running into ammo issues, 
you guys can go ahead and throw on fully loaded. This is going to be my fastest killing G36C class setup, the Holger 26 kind of conversion. I recommend you guys going ahead and checking this out immediately if you guys want to experience this weapon after its recent buffs. As always, I have the Renetti Pistol, EOD, Ghost, and Tracker as my triple effect, the best three perks in the entire game. And I'm also running a Lethal as the Proximity Mine as well as the Stem Shot. So, like I said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys absolutely smash like button on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications with all being said let's get right into the tactical nuke gameplay enemy at the office shut this down team we go. All these melee players, man. Pop my dust on it. Enemy UAV overhead. Almost done here. Ready up. New location ID. We gotta go. Oh my god. We out. Guys behind us. Got the advanced. Copy. Advanced UAV entering the AO. Scanning for hostiles. HQ contest. Enemies trying to shut down our HQ. Under 23 on station. Love this G36. HQ disabled. Get ready to move out. Okay. Gotta keep moving. Yo, look at that spawn right there. I got a lot of guys behind me. Enemy at the top. Ah! HQ is on light. Secure it. We're at the HQ. Stand by. And rotate around the back over here. Keep fighting. We're almost out of here. HQ contested. I don't want to call on my VTOL jet yet because. Still want more time. If they cap that hill, it's not really a bad idea, honestly. Not a bad thing at all if they cap that. Hell yeah. It's actually good news. There we go. They're going to spawn them across the map, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate. Disabling the HQ. Keep your eyes open. Location secure. Trying to get up here right now. Okay, get ready to move. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy at the center. Go ahead and put my VTOL jet up literally right middle map. UHQ established. Stacker 3 1 arriving on station right now. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna move around the back over here. Up. Oh. No, we're not. I said that as we just get bursted by a FAMAS.
We're gonna route it. We're gonna rotate around the outskirts here. Down ammo. Probably a bunch of guys behind me, but I'm not really too worried about it. We got. We finally got behind their spawn. Thank God. But we're out of ammo again. What we can do here. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful with my shots. Literally line everything up. There we go. I'm gonna rotate back over here. Team had actually spawned back here, which is kind of concerning. I don't really know what that was. We go take him out. We got like a minute left. Try to push up so we can do something in the spawn. Got a VTOL jet. Got like no time. I mean, we're starting to kind of go crazy at the end here, but. Oh my god. Kind of, we started, we kind of popping off at the end right there. Kind of got in their spawn finally, but hey, we ran out of time. All right, so the G36 C got another buff, man. I love it when they go ahead and touch the Holger 26, aka the G36 C. This is a gun that I feel that you have to be running the proper class setup for it to actually be good. Let's see. We'll go ahead and check out what we can do here. Now, a lot of players that run the Holger 26 actually use it in lmg mode i'm not really too sh sure why maybe in warzone that is a good idea but in multiplayer 100 percent you want to go ahead and turn this weapon into the g36 c so you can actually be aggressive well not really aggressive so you could be more mobile with this class setup i hear footsteps enemy at the courtyard That's gonna be the big thing with this gun. Hurt him. I need to actually kind of maneuver around the map here. Listen. Hostiles are taking Bravo. There we go. I need to betty this doom this room up again. Yep, there's something to leak out. B has not been capped yet. This is very concerning. It's okay. Make my way back make my way back to the A flag. I'm 
trying to keep getting pushed up here. Securing Charlie. Securing Bravo. There we go. Picked up a VTOL jet. I'm going to actually get up top in this building here to kind of scope it out. Go ahead and throw this on B. There we go. That's that range right there. So we got some trying to cross over there, which is cool. There we go. Don't want to actually sit right there. I kind of want to rotate over here. I need to get an advantage UAV. There we go. I'm the nice thing about the Holger is it has really good penetration. Gonna rotate up here. We'll probably catch a couple of them as they're trying to cross. I'm actually out of here. I'm gonna get, try to get in this. Oh, lag! I'm trying to get in this building. Shut those two doors. I'm trying to figure out where these guys are at now. Build that right there. They're taking C. There we go. There we go. Just gonna rotate all the way back around. Securing Charlie. Thought I heard somebody. There we go. Not 100% sure where these guys could be starting to spawn at. We're going to push up to C now. Triple capping again. We're gonna push up. Gonna push up here. We've lost A. Be advised. Friendly position airstrike impact. You're needed a B. 
push up in this broom. There we go. Got the nuke. Of, of course, like, I'm on... I don't even even know what ping I'm on right now. I don't even want to know. All I know is it's sky high because the servers were down. With the maintenance. Literally just getting... That's... I mean, I'm telling you right now, like, if you guys are trying to get your first nuke, and you and there's a server queue, try to get on the servers. The ping will be sky high. You might die to some bullshit, but you will get a fantastic lobby. There's a guy upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and throw up my nuke right now. He's waiting. Forget it. There we go. Oh, somebody knows who I am. They said ears. <laughs> you guys can't hear the game chat, but somebody knows who I am. Damn. 